Hey guys, welcome to part 36. In the last episode, we were making our way through the fire temple. And we got stuck by this puzzle. Now, in all honesty, this puzzle has taken me, like, quite a few takes. So, yeah. What I mean to say by this is, this puzzle is going to take you a while. Don't be surprised. This isn't a puzzle that you'll just walk over and complete. It's also highly possible that you won't walk over and complete it because... There we go. It took me like eight times to do that. It's also possible that you won't complete that immediately because it's really hard to aim. At all. Alright, let's see what we got. We got a blue thing, we got water. Blue thing, more water. Blue thing that looks like, looks like it's tiled and water. Oh, I. This is not a good idea, but. This is how you drown yourself, by the way. See that little bar right there? Whoa! Alright. We're upside down. Well, I was gonna say that little bar there is gonna I don't see any way to get over there. So, let's go in here. Huh, who's, who's that? It's a little guy. Do I have to assume and wrestle you too? Ah, I thought they felt a presence, but what a surprise to find a young human. You felt a presence? The world has come to me of you, and if Gorkor has faith in you, then your heart must be true. How'd you get word? You're locked in a cave. There's only like two entrances. Or one, I am one of the four Goron Elders. Goramato is my name. You are a heroic young man. Please, you must lend this tribe your power. Key shard. You need all three shards to return the big key to its original shape. That is when the key shards that were merged together form the key to the room where Darabus is being held. He is our patriarch. The key is split into three pieces. Each of us elders keep a piece. You must hurry to the other elders. And now rush. Yay, dungeon map! Alright. Let's quick see what this room has. It appears to be another sumo room. And I can't help but look at that and say... It's red. Hold on. Is that it? keep thinking that's a rupee, but since it's not letting me use my boomerang here, there's no way for me to get that. Why am I even climbing up here? What is there up here? Oh, there we go. Oh, no. I saw his head poke out. Come on. You can do it. Ah, forget it. Mm. Why could you do that earlier? You freaky little thing. Phew. Free at last. Gracious, you're that nice. So you held me up the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we found each other again, let's stick together for a bit. Mm. I'll write with you, so if you want to work out, just let me know. Link does not look as disgusted as earlier. I'll be honest, Uko is a kind character, but a really freaky one as well. Okay, so now last time we went through the bottom. So we'll let us just simply return if we go to the top. Oh, that doesn't work. Let's go the route to more. There we go. Three sword fight like this? Oh, hey, we can. This is extra confusing. Apparently, these rocks have the ability to generate electricity. I'm not sure how. 
Also, if they generate electricity, how come like I can still move my legs? Oh well. I'm sure it's a good thing. Okay. But heavy butt. Oh. Now, by the way, for those that are We can't- Oh, yeah, that makes sense, actually. In the time of the world, why can't we use our slingshot? We're only upside down. Those, those are pretty good. Jump! Oh, no. So, for those of you that are really impatient, this is gonna stick. Also, can't okay, jump attack. Now, why am I wandering around? That's a good question. Just thinking about the off chance of maybe there's a chest or something. Like that. I doubt that. It doesn't look like one's over there. Wait, hold on. This is magnetic. And a Goron cannot pick me up with way these boots. How come I was. Well, how come, like, the shield and sword did get up? Because it needed electricity for that button? Maybe this really just a conductor? Well, you ask a silly question. Okay. Go so here. I really don't think there's anything that you can monetarily get. It was worth a quick plug. Now, I'll be honest, if I jumped off like that, I'm pretty sure I'd smack my head. Alright, so we saw a blue metal on that thing. And a button. So, it must be a magnet crane. I've seen those before, they're pretty cool. Okay, let's be honest and destroy these guys. Oh, fire keys! Same thing as normal keys, but... Ah, well, let me do it, because I was pushing the button. Alright, let's just take a look here. Hit the thing. On the next episode, let's see if we can figure out how to get around with these magnets. See you then!